web page. You can customize the size, the speed, the movement behavior, and much more with Particle.js. Let's check it out. So here is the demo page of Particle.js that allows you to try out various configuration and see how it actually works. Now once you have done play with the demo, it's time for the implementation. Let's start with downloading the latest release from GitHub and import it to your page using script tag. Next, create a configuration JSON file. This is where you can customize particle options such as size, density, movement, color, etc. I'm going to use the basic setting provided on GitHub, which should be a good start. I will also change the color a little bit since the page background is white. Next, create a div element that you want to use as a particle wrapper with appropriate width and height. I'll also create a button to start the particle effect and click. Now in the click event, we can start particle.js using load method and provide the ID of the wrapper element we have just created, followed by the name of configuration JSON file. And that's it, you're ready to go. Let's see how it works. You can also make change to the particle option on the fly. Let's create an update button for this. Inside the click event handler, we can reference the particle.js object array and make change to the setting like this. When you are done with the updates, call particle refresh method to pick up the change. You can see the full list of this setting on the GitHub. Alright, let's test it. So that's conclude the 